Hey guys, it's Irene again, or the creative dork, whatever you want to call me. I have half a brain left, so you can call me anything and I'd probably answer it too. So, I don't have a cane for today. Um, the only thing I've been doing is been resonating since I woke up this morning. And I'm already grumpy and tired and I've been having a lot of problems with resin. I've used five different brands and every time I try and do the side of a piece, it bubbles. So I gave up, I sanded it, did another one, sanded it, did another one, sanded it, did another one. And if I sand anymore, I'm going to lose my piece. So I stopped and I started using the Pledge Revive It, the floor gloss, for my sides only and the back. Actually, I did put it on the back. Um, the front is the only thing that is resined. So if I switch you back here, you will see all these pieces. I don't even want to know how many pieces of clay we have here. Some are great, some are not, so I'm kind of picking through it and picking out things that I definitely want to make into jewelry. And this is one of them. This is a new shape that I've got. I don't have it up yet. It will be up on Sunday, but it's just a collar. And there's a bunch of ways that you can put this together. So if you wanted to add wire to it and just make it a wire necklace, you could turn it around and you could put wire in a little groove in the back and then take some black clay and bury that wire into that black clay. Then you've got wire in there. You could also take your drill and drill a hole through the top. And that way you can add string in there by, you know, you can string add a spacer in between each one. But on this one, I am going to just use... Um, a, a copper wire or a copper head or god head pins I'm gonna use jump rings I don't have any collars that I've used jump rings on before so this is a first for me and I'm trying to find something that I can put this up a little closer so you can see it so I took out my PayPal Zettle machine today my docking station and just making sure everything works just in case I need to order more um, they all look like they're okay. This is the only thing that I have white in front of me. So we're just going to set these right here real quick. You know, i got to pull out my tables this weekend and make sure that I've got all my tables because we let people borrow them all the time. And I never know if I get them back. But anyways, this is the piece that we're working on. It just shines. It's just really pretty. There's all kinds of colors in there. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, so now we are using our Dremel, and I don't normally mark. But today I'm going to be good, and I'm going to mark everything. Okay, just so that everything's even. So I want the bottom. You know, a lot of times people will just put the they'll put the jump ring just on the top I want the jump ring on the top and on the bottom so I'm gonna hit pause real quick because I gotta get my head in here because I can't see a thing so I'll be right back okay so I think I got them where I want them you know you want to go as close as you can to the end but you don't want to jeopardize that hole so I'm using a really small drill bit here And then I'm going to have to come through again and make the hole just a little bigger. This one I want a little closer to the end. Okay. Again on this one. Oh, the lighting is so bad in here. Yes, make sure your finger is at a harmless way back there. And 
that's really close, so we're going to back that up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to do that on all pieces, and we'll come right back. Alrighty, so we found a bigger drill bit I put that through the other hole boy what a mess it makes and in my trash can okay and hopefully I have some tools in here if not I might have to pause and go get some so I'm not sure what size jump rings are going to work on this because it's going to go through two thick pieces of clay. So small ones may not do this. But we're going to try and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a tool. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I found one tool. It's just amazing how when you do a show, how chaotic things get. And I somehow misplaced a whole lot of... um of my tools. Antique copper is really hard to find anywhere. I've tried. I was going to go on that side. So that one's on this side. I have not been able to find anything. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be too small, too. I really don't want to use big ones, but let's try these. These are just way too big, so I might have to order some new ones. That way I can make sure that I I have them in time. So I'm thinking that's how that one goes on. And I really need to find my tools so I don't have to use my fingers like this. Sometimes that little curve can be the death of you. It's there, it just doesn't want to go through here. So you're just going to have to wiggle it. Okay. Well, it's interesting. I'll give it that. Again, I don't normally, I don't normally use chain when I make these, so it just looks really off to me. So I need this to go in this one. That was the easiest one so far. Okay. 
Ah. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Thank God the the jump ring decided to stay put. Because if I would have lost that, that would not have been good. And yes, if you have the right tools and the right amount of tools, this would be a lot easier. So I'll come back in with the right tools and fix those later. <sighs> yeah, it's just, they're just weird. <laughs> I, I, I can't explain it. Maybe because they're too tight. Maybe I need to go a little bigger on the jump rings. Um, I have gold. So maybe I'll try the gold ones that are bigger and see how they fall. Or maybe once I get all these together, these will be fine. They just seem stiff. And I'm used to everything flowing, and it just seems really stiff. Okay, well, this side's going in a lot easier than my last one. So I'm very thankful for that. I don't know where this wire came from. But I'm going to use it. And there's that piece. So we're going to do this one. It's going to go in there. Did I put that in? I did, didn't I? Come on, when have I ever done a project where it actually went in perfectly, right? I did it again or something. I just don't like the way this hangs. But at least I'm getting an idea of what it's going to look like. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. Is it too late to do anything else? Yeah, probably. I've already got the holes and everything in it, so... But if you see the way it's just laying there, I don't like the way it's laying there. So I'm going to go smaller, smaller jump rings for the outside. <clears throat> and then I'm going to need to find some chain. You know, actually, I'm sticking with the big ones because the smaller ones are a little thinner. And I think this really needs a little bit more support. Or I use the smaller ones, but these have a texture to them and they're really hard to open and close. This might work really well. Okay. Now I gotta find chain. But before I go through all that trouble, I'm gonna find out why I don't like the way this is sitting in here. And why this one does not wanna go in at all. Sorry if I moved out of camera view. I don't know if I did or not. I'm just in my own little world here, as you can see. Okay. So, it's stiff. I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. 
I mean, this is moving, this is moving. I mean, all the parts move. You really need to get a tool that actually grabs your stuff. So I've noticed when Webbers go bad, they go bad. Okay, so I'm gonna hold those on just in case I change that. But let me go ahead and get um, let me get some chain. I'll be right back. Okay, so we put some chain on. I didn't cut it or anything. I just kind of added it on to see if I really wanted to use copper instead of gold. And of course, this is really long. Let me try and hide some of this. So that's the necklace. But I've seen ones made like this before and they just don't look like this. I mean, if they stood, stayed like that, that would be great. So tell me, do I need to make smaller jump rings or do I need to make bigger ones for them to hang a little better? So I don't have any, any bigger on copper. I do on gold. So I'm going to try gold really quick. And um, I'll come back and show you what we ended up doing. But just wanted to share with you the stuff that we're doing. Because you all want to see what my finished products look like. And honestly, I don't make that much finished products. It's only like right before a show, like now, that I start putting things together. So I'll start sewing a little bit more as I go. But let me know, for those of you that have made these collars, what am I doing wrong? Why are these not hanging the way I want them to? And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Alrighty guys, so we're back. We still haven't finished. We did put thinner jump rings in here and it's moving just fine. So I'm going to enlarge in the holes over here and it'll give it more movement. But I need help. I don't know how well you can see that. It's really hard and I doubled that chain just because I had to get it back there. So it's not really a double chain. But what do you like better? Copper or gold? I could really use the help. Let me go ahead and pop. Okay, hopefully that makes it a little easier to see. I just grabbed whatever gold chain was there. So I have copper and I have gold. Can you guys help me make a decision on what would look better? I don't know if the camera's showing up very well. Let me see if I can kind of enlarge in it. No, there we go. Well, all right, so we have copper on, or gold on that side. Right now, this and this and gold. And over here, we have copper. Your help would be so appreciated. Thanks. Bye.